Thanks for joining us. I'm Vince Petrano. Several schools in Racine County closed today as authorities continue searching for a suspect considered armed and dangerous. They say Stan Sillis abducted a woman from a medical facility in Rochester yesterday. When deputies spotted his car in Union Grove, they claimed Sillis fired a gun at them and then ran off. The woman got away and was not hurt. If you see Sillis, authorities warn you not to approach him, just to call 911 immediately. One person dead after an overnight fire in McGuanago. Firefighters called out to a place called the Fork in the Road Restaurant about 1.30 this morning. It's right there on Highway 83 through the heart of town. Officials report the fire broke out in an apartment above the restaurant. No word right now on how it started. Photo ID will be reinstated for Wisconsin elections. The U.S. Supreme Court refused to hear a challenge to the law. That law requires voters to show a picture ID in order to cast a ballot. It was passed four years ago, but essentially tied up in court challenges since. This clears the way for voter ID to go into effect now, but it will not be implemented for the upcoming spring election because that's just two weeks away. Day five of the appeal hearing for former Milwaukee police officer Christopher Manny is underway today. The Fire and Police Commission will decide whether Manny should get his job back. Chief Edward Flynn testified Saturday defending his decision to fire Manny. Manny ultimately shot Dontre Hamilton after struggle in Red Arrow Park last year. You can watch the proceedings as they happen on our website, TMJ4.com. In Pleasant Prairie, the slick, snowy roads likely played a part in a three-vehicle crash involving a school bus. There were no children on board the bus at the time, but a witness says medics took a woman and two children from that minivan to the hospital, and we do not know their condition. Milwaukee Bucks want you to roll up your sleeve and donate blood today. The team is hosting its 15th annual blood drive at the Bradley Center today. It started at 7 o'clock this morning, runs till 7 tonight. People who donate will get a voucher for two tickets to a future Bucks game. Spring officially started on Friday. It was a cold weekend with temperatures in the 30s and lower 40s. And yeah, then snow made its way in. It's still March. We can see everything from severe weather, 80s, 30s, snow, you name it. Still seeing some snow showers as of 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Southside Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, and Walworth County. This area, Walworth, Racine, and Kenosha picked up about 3 to 5 inches of snow. The heaviest of the snow is out in the southwestern corner of the state. They have since seen that snow stop. We'll show you some totals here in a moment. Uh, but the clouds begin to break up just a little bit, so hopefully you'll see a little bit of sunshine before it's all said and done. Well, Milwaukee had flurries and maybe a dusting of snow on the south. Side. How about New Glarus at 13 inches of snow? Dodgeville, 12 and a half. Fenimore, our good friend Jim Collins, hometown. 15 inches of snow. It's not kidding. That was just from last night and early this morning. Madison had six. Williams Bay and Delavan had five. Genoa City, Paddock Lake, Whitewater, all at four. Fort Atkinson, about 2.7 in Kenosha. Early reports of two and a half. I'm sure there's going to be over three inches of snow before it's all said and done. A little bit of snow on the banks of the Fox River in Waukesha. That'll quickly melt, especially if the sun comes out. 28 degrees. Easterly wind is at nine. Uh, your conditions across Milwaukee County 30 in Brown Deer and Glendale. 31 officially at the airport. Otherwise, 29 very common from Tosa to Oak Creek and to Franklin. The winds are out of the east northeast between 10 and 15. Unfortunately, that has been dropping wind chills throughout the morning and early afternoon into the teens in some spots. Overall, now getting into the lower 20s, except for Lake Geneva at 1920 in Waukesha and 25 in Watertown. Your high temperatures today will barely get above freezing in most spots. 34 here in Milwaukee. It won't get above freezing. We're seeing in Kenosha, 34 in Watertown and 32 in Waukesha and 32 also Menominee Falls, Germantown, Pewaukee, 30 in Oak Creek, southeast wind at 5 to 15. The low pressure system quickly moving out of here, taking the snow with it, and the clouds will clear out overnight tonight. We'll stay sunny tomorrow morning and the first half of tomorrow but then things begin to change. Later in the day, the clouds begin to increase. And look at this. After over a foot of snow in southwestern Wisconsin, then they're starting to worry about heavy rain. So we went almost three weeks with no precipitation at all. And then just within 24 to 36 hours, heavy snow to heavy rain. Could even hear some rumbles of thunder here locally uh, on Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. Could pick up about a quarter to a half inch of rain. That would have been about six inches of snow here locally, but it will be warm enough and windy to see just rain. Then the cold front slides through here and cools us down again. We had about a half inch to an inch of snow across southern Milwaukee County, just a flurry or two north. 34 degrees today with some gradual clearing. Tonight it will be clear and it will be cold with temperature of 24 degrees, wind chills dropping into the teens. The seven day forecast is a roller coaster ride common for March. 41 on Tuesday, increasing clouds, thunderstorms becoming likely Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. 50 for a high Wednesday, flurries and sprinkles on Thursday, 32 for Friday and you're 50 by Sunday.